there. Welcome back, or welcome to, my Lowland Clan series. If you haven't seen part one of this series, I recommend going to watch it to see the other cats I've designed for this clan. Anyway, let's get started on talking about the warriors of this clan. First, we have Pinebriar. She was described as a lilac and cream, ticked calico she-cat with long fur and copper eyes. Her sister is Mudbriar, who is younger than her by 12 moons. She is one of Lowland Clan's best warriors and is always ready to help out her clanmates. She can come across as bossy to cats outside the clan, but everyone who knows her just knows that she likes to keep things organized. She is most likely to be made deputy after Golden Blaze is no longer in the role, and would probably already be deputy if she had not been training her first apprentice at the time Golden Blaze was made deputy. Next is Spotted Fang. Her original name was Cormorant Fang, but I changed it since it's already Cormorant Star of Cliff Clan. She was described as a black and red classic tortoiseshell she cat with short fur and green eyes. Spotted Fang is an oddity in her clan and isn't really friends with anyone in particular. She appeared in Lowland Clan's territory one day with a bunch of wounds covering her body. She was healed up by Redstone and her mentor and was welcomed into the clan if she wished to stay. Spotted Fang refuses to say how she got so injured and anytime anyone brings it up, she runs away from the camp and doesn't return for several hours. Next up is Rookstream. He was described as a short-haired, black spotted tabby tom with green eyes. He is the mate of Burnet Throat and father to Spiderpaw, Kamapaw, and Kootpaw. He is also Kootpaw's mentor, as Roachstar felt that Rook could help his kit calm down and take his training seriously. Now we have Yellow Blaze, the daughter of Golden Blaze and Roachstar and twin sister of Fematory Blaze. She was described as a short-haired, blue and cream, macro calico she-cat with golden eyes. Yellow Blaze and her sister do pretty much everything together, from patrols to sleeping in the same nest. From a distance, it can be kinda hard to tell which sister is which, but up close they have some defining features that make them different. Yellow Blaze is the mentor of the oldest apprentice, Poppy Paw, and the two of them are a great mentor and apprentice team. Up next is Fumatory Blaze, the other daughter of Golden Blaze and Roach Star, and twin sister of Yellow Blaze. She was described as a short-haired, blue and cream, classic tortoiseshell she-cat with yellow eyes. As I've already said, Fumatory Blaze and her sister are practically inseparable, doing mostly everything together. She doesn't talk as much as her sister does, but when she's got something to say, you'll never hear the end of it. She is the mentor of Kamapaw, and the two of them are still trying to figure out how to work together, but they're getting closer to finding a way each day. Now we have Mudbriar, Pinebriar's sister. She was described as a lilac she-cat with long fur and copper eyes. She has looked up to her older sister ever since she was a kit and hopes to one day be like her. She really hopes to have an apprentice one day, and with Ice Whisker expecting kits, she may be able to fulfill that dream in a few moons. Next is Sootstripe, a short-haired black tom with gold eyes. He is the mentor of Squirrel Paw, and the two of them are having a hard time right now. A few moons ago, Slug Claw, Sootstripe's brother, and Squirrel Paw's father, as well as Skipper Cloud, Squirrel Paw's mother, were mysteriously killed by the river that divides Lowland Clan and Cliff Clan's territories. There were and still are no clues as to who or what killed them, and the whole clan is still shaken up from what happened. But Sootstripe and Squirrelpaw are definitely the ones who have taken it the hardest. Lastly, we have Campion Pelt. She was described as a red mackerel tabby she-cat with curly fur and gold eyes. She is the youngest warrior in Lowland Clan and was Pinebriar's first apprentice. She's not quite sure how to fit in as a warrior yet, but she is finding herself getting better at hunting each time she goes out on a hunting patrol. And that's all the warriors. I'm really excited to start talking about the apprentices next, as I really like all of them. 
Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.